Hi, Adriana here, Bubblicious, with Simon from ABCSearch.com. How are you doing today? Very good. And yourself, Adriana? Great. Are you having fun at the old timers party? Having a blast. There's a lot of people here, a lot of veterans in the industry. Uh, it's very good to make the contact and see what kind of opportunities lie here. Great. So tell us a little bit about your company. What is it that you guys do? Well, ABC Search is the world's largest privately held um, PPC network. We aggregate over a thousand uh, affiliates across the net, uh, smaller search sites, content publishers, and toolbars. Uh, we basically aggregate the smaller traffic that Google and Yahoo and you know those bigger guys just overlook. We aggregate that and only send the best traffic to our advertisers, internal advertisers, uh, using our click fraud technology called Click Shield. It's a patent pending solution for click fraud. We've uh, been uh, in, uh, um, we've been validated by a third party uh, in uh, having the least amount of click fraud out of any tier 2 PPC network. Even uh, tier 1 PPC network, we're very happy about that. And uh, it's it's our goal to eliminate click fraud from PPC advertising. What is click fraud? Well, click fraud can be defined by many ways. Um, sometimes it can be a competitor clicking on uh, another uh, an, another advertiser's ad to run out their spend, lower the ROI, and kick them off advertising on the net. Uh, for the most part, it's uh, bots around the world, um, you know, clicking on advertisers' ads, getting money for uh, uh, clicks that basically aren't user driven. Uh, we have a technology uh, based on user behavior and conversion data that understands where this fraud is coming from, if it's potentially click fraud, it will not reach our advertisers. Interesting. So are you, do you have a lot of competitors out there? Yes, we do have a lot of competitors. I mean, the, the internet is a very big place, and it's very interesting how things work. You know, some some of our competitors are some of our partners. Some of Google's competitors are, are their partners. So everyone kind of, you know, looks out for each other in the internet, but, you know, overall, they're all trying to, you know, get that money at the end of the day, get that advertiser and provide a, you know, a solution. So how do you see the whole click fraud and all of that evolving within time? Well, the uh, internet started as like the wild, wild west. Whoever had traffic, you know, remained king. You know, over over the years, advertisers became more and more savvy. They started understanding that, you know what, it's not just traffic that I'm looking for. I'm looking for data, I'm looking for users, demographics, conversions, and overall CPA and high ROI. Um, we were able to see this pretty early on and create a solution that provided advertisers not only with the traffic that they want, but those quality users that they're able to convert. And that was the most important thing. So as time progresses, they're going to see that it's not just traffic, it's uh, it's, it's that CPA. Uh, and, and networks and, and publishers and uh, you know traffic aggregators, they're going to have to you know step up and, and deal with the fact that advertisers want results, not just traffic. So why do you think it's important to have a presence at ad tech? Well, I mean, if you look around, you know, it's just a, a small paradigm of, of, you know, who's at ad tech. You have the largest influencers on the internet at ad tech. All the companies that we're working with, potentially working with, should be working with, are here at ad tech. And, and this is the, the place where you can actually see the people, you know. Most of the uh, business that we do online, it's all facelifts. It's, it's all through email, IM, chat, you know, message boards. You, uh, you know, old timers themselves, they, they talk through uh, through email. You know, these are people that have been speaking to each other for the last three years. They know about each other's children, they know about how many pets they have, but they've never seen each other's face. So it's really great to congregate in one place, see who you've been working with for the past 10 years, and basically hash out any kind of plans that, that, that can come to fruition, bring money to the company, and also a solution to, to users. So basically, it's great to see everybody who's in the industry face to face and, and get work done. Great. Thanks so much for your time, Simon, and we wish you and abcsearch.com all the best of luck in the world. Thank you very much for having us. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm here with John from Unsub Central. How's it going tonight? Very good, very good. Right. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your company? What do you guys do? Unsub Central is a centralized can spam solution for companies that use email in their acquisition marketing channel. Very cool. So tell us a little bit about your clients and who you work with. So we've got a lot of tier one clients, um, HSBC, Experian, Publishers Clearinghouse, um, 
Payne, Sara Lee, you name it, any of the tier one brands that are out there that are using email aggressively, they definitely use on Subcentral. Why do you think it's uh, important to have a presence here at AdTech? Um, I think AdTech's a really good show. A lot of the people here that make decisions about marketing dollars um, are at the show and at the networking event, so it makes sense to be here. Great. What do you think about this party? I mean, old timers, it's specifically old timers because it's web, web 1.0. Now that we're in web 2.0, what, like, do you think this, this is a good networking event? I, I think it is a great networking event. I think the reason is that all of the people here um, really bring a perspective to the industry that you won't find at you know, a party where you're going to meet a 22-year-old media buyer. Yeah. Their definition of success is their boss telling them they did a good job yesterday. The people here, their definition of success is seven figures. So that's why I'm here. Right. Well, thanks so much for your time, John. I wish you and Unsubcentral the best luck in the world. Thanks, Adriana. Hi again, we're here at the Old Timers Party. We're having a great time. I'm here with Arthur from eBuddy. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing very well, especially now, of course, at this party. It's a nice party. Good, nice sweet. At the you like that you like the Cliff Hotel? It's the best the best hotel in San Francisco. Yeah. We were yesterday. But yesterday we had to pay for our drinks. This is better. This is oh, definitely okay, better, yeah. yeah. Open bar. Open bar is always a good deal. So tell me a little bit about eBuddy. What is it that you do? eBuddy is a web-based chat application that people can log in through us to Amazon, AOL, Yahoo Messenger uh, without installing any software. So we're mainly used by people at school, work, uh, places where they're not allowed or not able to log in or uh, to install any software. So um, uh, we see most of our, our users coming from colleges, universities, stuff like that. And uh, right now we have around 10 million unique users a month. Um, and we're expecting to grow very fast, especially after the launch of our uh, beta version, which is coming out next month or within two months. Uh, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be a multi-client version. So in one window, you have a log. Uh, you, you can be logged into Amazon, AOL, Yahoo, GTalk, ICQ, whatever you want, all in one window. Very convenient, and um, well, it's going to be going to be big. Wow, I think you sold me. Wow, I think I'm going to get that application right now on my computer. www.ebuddy.com. Perfect. So you're from the Netherlands. What inspired you to you know, launch a part of your company in the U.S.? Um, well, we, of course, because of the attack show here, we, uh, we are actually at all the attacks. Um, we had Sydney, Paris. Uh, this is the third this year. Next month we're at Hamburg, uh, Miami, London, New York. We have all the ad tech shows. So, what inspires you to to have a presence here at ad tech? Uh, a lot of our users are in, in in the U.S. It's a it's an important market for us because um, um, uh, a couple of years b uh, uh, before the the in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, it's always uh, we're looking at the U.S. What happens here? We'll, we'll do it later over there. So it's uh, that's why it's important. Also, um, uh, attack is big here. Um, a lot, a lot of uh, exhibitors, a lot of uh, people, a lot of attendees at the attack shows. So we're uh, we're we're, yeah, we're trying to to uh, uh, get more advertisers for our uh, for our, uh, our website over here. Good. Well, we wish you and eBuddy all the luck in the world, and thanks so much for taking the time to be interviewed. No problem. Thank you very much for interviewing me. Pleasure to be here.